First of all, let me ask you a question. Now, how many of you audience members have switched schools or cities at any point? Raise your hand. That's, that's more than I thought. Over the course of my life, I've lived in seven different houses, three cities, and gone to three different school districts. Now, we all know that moving is stressful, but I think it changes the way that you think. You're used to being looked at as a stranger. You're used to being alone. You get used to being afraid, especially in new situations. But you also get used to overcoming your fears, and that's why all of the scary things about being new shouldn't be scary. No one should be friendless or afraid because it's easy to be yourself. Now, there will always be ups and downs to new situations, but I'd like to share how I look at changing schools and social environments, like work or going on a vacation, etc. Now, transitioning from fam familiar schools with friends everywhere to new, confusing places without a familiar face is daunting. But it doesn't have to be. With the right attitude, outlook, and some great advice from a seasoned expert like myself, you can take your next move like a champ. Now, I've prepared this list for you. I've prepared for you this list of things to consider. Now, this list not only works for schools, but any environment. Number one, don't be afraid to talk to people. All people, students, teachers, bus drivers, lunch ladies. For adults, maybe the new coffee barista, the janitor, the gas station attendant. Now, this talking to new people thing is probably the biggest parental cliche. However, despite the obviousness, it's true. If you socialize, people will want to socialize back. Now, that brings us to step two. You can have something to offer. Now, you can start by talking about the three S's, school, sports, and shared interests. Now, these are surefire techniques for socializing. School is easily the most popular because of its simplicity and availability. For all of you adults, probably talk about work. Sports is also easy. I mean, we live in Green Bay. But sports can also be replaced by any extracurricular that you enjoy. Now, finally, shared interests. If you pay attention and spend a little time observing, you can pick up on some shared interests. Cool shoes, man. Hey, I, have that, I like that video game, too. I like this teacher. I don't like this teacher. If you both enjoy something, why not enjoy it together? Number three, look at the positives. Experience teaches us the, the way you think changes what happens. If you think something would be bad, you're more likely to make it bad. With that same logic, if you look at it as good, it might just make your day a little better. Meeting new people will always add a little something to your life, so why not enjoy it? People to lean on make overcoming obstacles a little bit easier, the hits a little softer, and our walk a little taller. Number four, set reasonable expectations. Give yourself time to connect with people, and whatever you do, don't give up after a couple of days or even a couple of weeks. Focus on your studies or work, and life will be easier. Keep talking, keep trying. And before you know it, you're, uh, you'll feel like your new school is home and that you belong, because you do. Now, there's some positives to moving. It's a simple but effective way to create a fresh start. There's no better way to cleanse your social palate. You can choose to keep in contact with people or not. Now, hopefully the school that you're moving to is better. For instance, my move to the pier made everything better for me. I have access to a great athletics program, a larger community, and an overall better school that fits who I am and my needs. Now, my journey to, in coming to the pier wasn't necessarily an easy one. At my old school, I didn't feel like I had any close friends. Despite my best effort, I never really clicked, and on top of that, it was a small cool school with minimal opportunities. Now, life is short, and l life is really short. School can be boring and stressful, so no one wants to spend their time on someone that they don't connect with. However, just because you don't click with one person, that doesn't mean that no one will. Now, a good person will take the time to get to know you. So after hearing this talk, you're probably wondering one thing. Why should I care what you're talking about? Well, first, you never know if and when you may travel to a new place, school, or work. Now, if you do, you will be the new guy or the new girl. These steps will help you through it. And second, more importantly, there will always be people around us that are new. They'll be scared like I was. So can you, can we, help them to not be afraid? Now, my point is to everyone, be that guy. The guy that helps out everyone. The guy that brings out the best in each other. Now, I saw a quote the other day. Individually, we are a drop, but together we are an ocean. Now, if we band it together, then we could become our own little puddle. Then a stream, then a river, then a lake, and then finally that ocean. We really can't help people to survive in these new social environments. So in conclusion, moving schools is kind of a good thing. It's often feared and can be a source of great angst. 
when you really take a look at it, it's pretty cool. Now, if you're moving to another place or environment, even for an hour or two, socialize. Have fun, be interesting, be involved, but no matter what, don't give up. You deserve to have friends, to have people to lean on, and to be accepted. And no matter what, you will find your people. It may be one person, or it may be a hundred. Thank you.